Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Backup Utility has failed to get an exclusive lock on the ESP. So if there's an application that's not allowing you to create a system image, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the Start menu, left click on the Start button one time. And into the start menu search, you want to type in services. Best match should come back with services. Just want to left click on that one time. Now you want to locate something that says block level backup engine service. And you want to double click on it. Now you want to left click on the log on tab. And then you want to select this account. You want to set password and confirm password should be what's already being used to log on through your computer, so you shouldn't actually have to change anything at this point. And then you want to left click on browse. Locate where it says advanced and left click on that one time. Left click on find now. Locate your account username from this list here, should be pretty easy to find. And then left click on OK. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and left click on OK again. Left click on Apply. If you have a password for this account that might be different than what the default account was, just type it in. There is no password currently on this account, so I'm going to just delete it and leave it blank. So password and confirm password should be blank if you do not have a password set on your computer. Most of you guys probably do have a password, so you just would type it in here. And then left click on Apply. And it might take a moment here should say the account has been granted the log on as a service right. Left click on OK and then left click on OK once more to close out of there. Restore your computer, hopefully that's resolved the problem. Now there's a chance you might have a third party antivirus application that is creating this issue as well. If you've restarted your computer and you're still having a problem, I would suggest going into your antivirus settings and temporarily turning off the protection and see if that has been the cause for the problem, which it most certainly has a likelihood of being. So definitely check into that as well if you're still experiencing problems. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.